In this video, we're gonna discuss how we can compare different floating point numbers and do jumps in conditional operations based on the results of those comparisons. So here I have two floating point numbers, 3.14 and 2.1, and they're stored in XMM0 and XMM1. And what I wanna do is I wanna compare these values. Now, we can't use the CMP instruction. That only works with normal decimal values. We need to use a different instruction called UCOMISS. We're gonna do this with XMM0 and XMM1. So generally, when we're taking a look at this, again, you see that theme of the two S's being added to the end. This is telling us that we're working with the single value that's a scalar, that's a single precision floating point, right? And generally, this works the same way that our other comparison works. It's gonna compare these two values with each other, and then it's gonna set some E flags based on those comparisons towards which we can do things like jumps based on the results. Now you have to be a bit careful with this. Not only is the comparison different, but also the jumps that you use are going to be different as well. Well, at least some of them will be. Rather than using things like, for instance, jump greater than and jump less than, what we're going to do instead is we're going to use jump below. So JB is jump below. It's the same sort of idea as less than. And then jump BE is jump below or equals. It's less than or equals. Jump AE is above equals or greater than or equals. And then JA is jump above, which is going to be greater than. I'm not sure why we use these different jumps for floating point numbers. I just know that we do. So just keep in mind that these are the differences. So it's again, above, greater than, below, less than. So it's pretty easy to remember, but just keep in mind that they are different. Now for equals, we still use JE. So JE is still available for our equals. It's just the greater than and less than ones that are going to be different. Now, just to demonstrate this, in this case, uh, 3.14 is greater than 2.1. So we would expect the result of this to be a JA. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's just see out our program to the end. So we'll do greater inside of here. I'll just, I don't know, move one into uh, ECX, for instance. And then we'll have an end, which will move maybe into AX1. We can move into EBX1. And then we can interrupt our application like this, right? And then here, we'll just put in a jump to end just in case this condition isn't true. So basically, if it's greater, it goes to this branch here. If it's not greater, it goes to the end here. So that's generally the way that this program will work. Now let's just run this and just make sure everything does work the way that we expect it to. We'll assemble, we'll load, we'll do our debugger, and we'll just go ahead and run through this. So you see that we load our values into the registers. We could do our comparisons. After the comparison happens, since XMM0 is above XMM1 or greater than that value, we see that we jump to greater. So do you see how that jump still happens? So generally the comparisons and jumps are still able to be done. It's just that we have a different set of instructions. So just to summarize, UCOM ISS is used to compare floating point numbers. We use JA or JAE for greater than, greater than or equal to respectively, and then B and BE for below, which is less than or less than or equal to respectively. And then JE we can use for equals as well. So this gives you a bit more of a context towards how you can work with floating point numbers specifically around the way of comparing those numbers and being able to do conditional jumps based on the results of those comparisons. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.